for the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. Is there any other actor in the world who combines sexy and chilling with the panache of Rosamund Pike? She's strikingly beautiful but also brittle so you instinctively understand that beyond the sculpted cheekbones lies a fierce capacity for cruelty. In the first few minutes of I Care A Lot, Pike, playing an unscrupulous legal guardian named Marla Grayson, tells a man who has just spat on her, having a penis doesn't automatically make you more scary to me, just the opposite. You may be a man, but if you ever threaten, touch or spit on me again, I will grab your dick and balls and I will rip them clean off. What a hero, except that Mala isn't one. She's a vulture preying on senior citizens, which seems to me a whole new low in movie villainy. Mala runs a successful business as a court-appointed legal guardian. Colluding with a physician and the head of an assisted living facility, Mala schemes to have perfectly sentient older people declared mentally incompetent. I'm here to help. The court then puts them in her care and she sucks them dry. Her job gives her a sheen of nobility. Early in the film, she tells a judge with practice sincerity, all day, every day, I care. My name is Marla Grayson. I'm just someone who cares. But in reality, each ward is for her a lottery ticket. She's in charge of their finances. So she's billing them for her own hours as well as for the old age home in which she has shares. You can imagine how that pans out. Mala and her partner Fran find a target they describe as a cherry because she's such a perfect victim. Rich without family, showing early signs of forgetfulness. Jennifer Peterson, played by a terrific Diane Weist, is rushed from her impeccable home to the facility. The utter lack of morals in the film makes for solid entertainment, but this sequence is horrifying, genuinely, because it seems so plausible. Jennifer protests, but no one is listening. She ends up alone in a room that's basically a luxurious prison. Later in the film, she tells Mala, I'm the worst mistake you will ever make. Writer-director Jay Blakeson constructs a deliciously savage cat and mouse game in which we are horrified by Mala's actions but also admiring of her steely savagery. Peter Dinklage plays Roman Lunyov, a criminal who when asked who are you says a dangerous man. Mala and Roman rip into each other but Mala doesn't yield an inch. She's a formidable opponent. Blakeson also positions Mala as the twisted embodiment of the American dream. Mala is clear that she wants money and lots of it. In one scene, she says she wants to use money as a weapon, as a bludgeon, the way real rich people do. Wearing killer heels and a high maintenance bob, Mala feels like the monstrous love child of Catherine Trammell from Basic Instinct and Gordon Gecko from Wall Street. She's deeply frightening and flat out fabulous. I Care A Lot is wholly satisfying. There's a scene in which Jennifer calls Mala an epithet, which I can't repeat, but it made me want to whistle loudly. These toxic people make for great company. You can see the film on Netflix India.